Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. Did you know that if you click subscribe right now, I will be contractually obliged to make 95 more episodes of me collecting collection log items in a 20 year old point and click game? I hope you enjoy the video. What better way to start things off than with a Torva plate body drop at next, securing us a beautiful 91 million gold split. I really need to do more next. Here's another KC milestone at Zolra, 5,600 kills, which is massive. So I wake up this morning and my teammate has actually gotten the mutagen. So we actually have all the cards turned in that we possibly could. And the only way to get points now is by getting pets or jars. And it is extremely close point wise. So I guess I'm just going to keep doing Zolra for the pet and the jar because I am quite dry on both. And we'll see what happens. Oh my, not exactly the drop I'm going for, but it is two mil. So I'm very happy actually. Uncut Onyx from Zolra. Been a while since I've seen that drop and uh, it still looks so good, man. Onyx is like the best looking gem. Zenites are cool, but I mean, look at this bad boy. It's such a classic. Now we're opening up all of our caskets that we got throughout the event. I've got nine elite caskets, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Real quick, we need to talk about the awesome sponsor of this video, Everlegion. Everlegion is a free fantasy RPG gacha game that features over 100 upgradable heroes. Speaking of the heroes, look at how great the visuals are. The game gets frequent updates, so there's always something new to do, and it's very free to play friendly. It's available for free on mobile right now, so you can play it anywhere you want. Just click the link in the description to download it to support the channel and join me in game. Ooh, look at that. Just for completing the tutorial, we got 25 free pulls. Let's see if we can get any Think interesting. Okay, wow, look at that. We've already pulled an elite hero named Niviano. She's got abilities that not only buff the strongest character in your party, but also an AoE attack that does massive damage to enemies. Not just that, but she looks so damn cool. She's easily my favorite hero that I've gotten so far. If you're looking for something a little more difficult in game, then you'll want to check out the brand new Dragon Abyss. There you can find the most difficult bosses, and you can even earn an epic dragon egg if you manage to make it through. Ever Legion even has other modes, such as the Spirit Realm, which is a roguelike mode, Tower Mode called Sky Tower, and even Raid Mode called Isle of Mists. Each with better rewards the farther in you get and they all present a unique challenge. Also, make sure to use my exclusive redeem code LEGFUA to get some great rewards. There are only 100 of them, so make sure you use it ASAP. So join me in Everlegion by clicking the link in the description to download the game now. Thank you so much to Everlegion for sponsoring the video. Okay, nine elite clue caskets. That's pretty standard elite clue. That, ooh, I don't like the look of that one. Come on, something better. Three rune play skirts, that's pretty weird. All right, next one, come on, master clue, but I kind of don't want to stop opening. So we'll just juggle if I get another master clue. Let's drop it and keep opening. Yep, that's, yep, yep. That, oh, a unique, but it's not really unique. We've already gotten that one before, which is a little bit sad, but you know, it's elite clues. I don't know what anybody expects from these, especially with our recent luck. Two more to go and nothing. All right, master clue, oh wow. Uh. Okay, I got a little excited and picked it up. I've been spam clicking my loot. There is a Tanzanite Fang, 3 million golden pieces, Gelinor pieces. I really want to know what you guys call them because no matter what they call them, I get like 50 comments of people yelling at me saying I'm calling them the wrong thing. So, no matter what, I'm never going to win. But there we go. Oh, wait, I missed it at some point. 5,700 kill count at Zolra. We're just plowing through these kills so quickly. It is insane how many KC I've done just today. Well, there's 5,800 Zolra kills and the event is over. We managed to pull second place and tomorrow we're going to see exactly how much prize money we get for that. I probably could just go look at the rules of the event, but I'm too lazy and I think it's more exciting to not know, to be honest. But... We will get prize money. You know what? Just as another fun little thing, I'm going to open up my Runelight Loot Tracker and reset everything back to zero. And I'm going to see how much uh, loot we get over the course of this video. I think that'd be a fun way just to see how much loot we get. Obviously, it's not going to be indicative of how much profit we make because you do use supplies doing things like super combat, super restores, and such. But it'll just be fun. Oh boy, is this 300 kill count at Spindle. It is. What a momentous occasion. I'm going to celebrate it by taking a massive swig of water. And, ooh, Onyx Bolt Tips. There is the end of our spindle task, and I think I'm going to stay here for the rest of this trip, at least, because why not? I mean, the boss has pretty good loot. And also, I'd like to say that I finally found a good solution for the lamp controversy. Instead of spending it on a skill, and y'all disagree with what skill I use it on, instead of alking it, I'm just going to leave it on the ground. I won't even pick it up. Then the controversy can't even start. Oh, Mamacita, 102 Revenants. That's so good. That is so juicy. I'm pretty sure that's still on the low end, but I will take it. 102, that's a lot. And a lot of people told me to use Bracelets of Slaughter, but you kind of have to use the Bracelet of Ethereum there, or you absolutely get dumpstered. So I guess I could switch to the Bracelet of Slaughter on the tick that you get the XP drop to try to preserve kills on the task. I'll do it. I can't promise I'll do it the whole time, because that is a lot of effort, but I'll try my best. First trip done, and I just have to show it, because... 
I love revs. I mean, I hate revs. It's one of my least favorite pieces of content, but this is the reason that I could deal with it. 1.3 mil in 15 minutes. This is one of the most ridiculous escapes I've ever gotten. I was on like 10 HP. I had no food left, and this dude had me down to the wire. And for some reason, he let me get gap, and I just ran around in a circle around this thing and logged out. I still don't know how that happened. Then the same guy came to try and kill me again, but I outskilled him by freezing him and standing underneath him. This is definitely a very epic game mechanic and not really stupid. And there's the revenant task done. We killed 129, so we got 27 extra kills out of using the bracelet of slaughter. So I gotta say thank you guys for suggesting it. It's a lot more effort. It's totally annoying. I hate it so much, but it got us extra kills, so I won't complain. And of course, I'm gonna stay for one more kill because you never know what you could get. I mean, staying for one more kill has gotten me a lot of drops in the past, so maybe this will be the same. Come on, come on, baby. Let's see it. Let's see the totem. I know it's gonna be a totem. It has to be. Oh, I feel like I've got to mention this because I've seen this a lot on Twitter and Reddit and such. I got a ghost task, which does give you Slayer XP from Revenants, but it does not give you the boosted drop rates. I've seen Mod Ash confirm this on Twitter. I promise I'm not trolling. So if you get the ghost task, uh, don't do it at revs. Also, I got 50 of them, so I think I'm just going to skip them because, like, where do you even kill ghosts? It can't be that fast. So I'm really debating in my head whether I should actually do this at Calvarian because the Slayer task doesn't even matter since you use a Salvami anyways, but... I think I will just for posterities, just in case we get a drop. We still do need, what is it What is it we need from Calvarian? All we need is his head. Let's go get head. And there's 200 kill count at Calvarian. I still cannot believe that we got the pet and the Void Waker piece before 200 KC here. So stupid. I love this game. And there is the skeleton task done because, um, yeah, the little skeletal hellhounds he summons count as skeletons. So the task barely lasted any time at all. I'm going to finish this trip here because I'm actually having a lot of fun. This boss is so good, seriously. Probably the most well-designed of the Wildy Boss rework bosses. I just love it so much. All right, Crystalia, we'll go back to Vetti on 97 skeletons, which actually accounts for less than 20 uh, Calvarian kills because you kill four of those hellhounds every time. It's a little sad. Wow, we're getting really lucky with tasks. I haven't had the Turiel skip that much today. We've got 90 bears ready to go. A task that we can actually use the Slayer helmet for. And I'm very excited because we do need... What do we need from RTO? We need a lot of stuff, don't we? Yeah, we need the Claws, we need the Void Waker, and we need the Tyrannical Ring, which I never got from Callisto. All these kills are before the rework, so a little bit dry on that. Maybe we can get that. I wouldn't complain about the pet, though. Okay, so I've hopped through nearly every single world. I got like two kills, and then I forgot my looting bag. Uh, oh, that's a PKer. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, so I've hopped through like almost every single world, and it's packed. This boss in particular is so much more packed. In fact, there's a lot of uh, interestingly named alt accounts as well parked out of most of these. So I assume those are the real players. I've heard that there's a ton of bots at the Wildy Bosses, and I've checked the high scores. Man, there are a lot of bots at the Wildy Bosses. So I'm going to find a world without an alt, and we're going to go in with my mage gear on and smite and see if they instant heli. Okay, let's check the cave. Oh, I actually found a free world. Okay, never mind. 200 kill count at Little Bear. Uh, oh my gosh, this place is such a disaster right now. I don't know if y'all have done RTO recently, but there are people that come in here in PK gear and everything, and then they just like kind of look at you. They don't even attack you, and then they log instantly. It's so weird. I don't know if it's a bot or if it's people just harassing players. Finally, there's the RTO task done. This one took way longer than every other kind of task, simply because it's impossible to find a world here. But yeah, that was 90 RTO. I'm going to stay for the rest of the trip because maybe... Just maybe we can get something. This is the boss we're most likely to get a drop from. Oh my goodness, a lucky impling while I'm doing a chicken task. And we get a rune pickaxe. No way, baby, let's go! Alright, we finally got assigned to Hellhounds, and that is our final block. Now we have the perfect wilderness block list for grinding revs and wildy bosses. And just to top it off, we get a revs task right then and there. It has actually been a lot of Turiel skipping, so it's totally deserved. Not spoon. Don't type in the comments about how spoon I am at hurts my feelings. I think one aspect of why the Void Waker is so insanely powerful is the fact that it forces you into a 50-50 situation. When they hit you with that first special attack, you're basically taking a coin flip. Are they going to hit me again with the Void Waker, or are they going to use a melee special attack like Claws or an AGS? I'm really curious as to if you guys think this is a fun mechanic, or if it's really annoying, because I'm still a bit on the fence about that. Oh man, we finally got a unique, and it's a massive, juicy duplicate ancient totem that kind of stinks i mean a million gold is a million gold so i will go ahead and take it and bank but man i really do not have that many totems in the rev log it's a little bit disappointing to be getting dupes at this point and i actually didn't show my rev log up until now i'm gonna wait till i'm at the bank because you know i've got a million gold in here here we are revenants and look at that 
That is a grim collection log. I forgot. I've killed over 4,000 revenants. Most of them were sculled. Uh, to be fair, also most of them were before the rework. But look at this. None of the top three. Uh, all of these are from the Maledictus, except maybe one of these ancient totems. I don't remember. Basically, I'm so dry at revs, it is not even funny. And I'm just praying that we get some kind of drop. And we just got five U seeds, which if I'm not mistaken, is on the same table as getting a totem. Very tragic fate that I'm suffering today. Well, there's another rev task done, 145 revenants down the drain. And of course, we're going to kill one last one because you genuinely never know because this one might just drop the crossbow, right? It's going to happen. Crossbow? No? Oh my gosh, there it is. Let's grab those and get out of here because I forgot to actually switch my spellbook to Ancient. So this was like maybe a four kill trip or something. I was actually tanking and trying to run around the room. Claws of Callisto at 262 kill count. Finally, we got something. It's been a long time since I've gotten a drop from the Wildy Bosses or Revs, you know. So it's really good to get these. Nowhere near the rate on the actual KC, but finally something from RTO. I'm so happy to see that. It's my first Wildy Weapon upgrade, and uh, how much is it worth? 2.6 mil? That's something. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks like things are turning around. There's a Dragon Pickaxe, 2 million gold, just a couple kills later. All right. All right, game, you're rewarding me for actually doing RTO, which is miserable. So you just spend 20 minutes finding a world, and then some dude comes in and says, Bro, I was just banking. This is my world. Okay, there's 300 RTO kill count. I figured right now the worlds are not that busy. It's usually only taking me a couple minutes to find a world, as opposed to in the evening when it takes literally 10 plus minutes to find a world. So I'm going to keep killing this boss, even though I don't have the task. I'm just kind of feeling it at the moment. I wasn't paying attention. I just saw a lot of people saying grats in the CC, so I looked. And it's actually because I just hit 100 million ranged XP. It's the first time I've ever had a 100 million XP skill, which is pretty gross. I know I should probably go outside. But hey, that's a goal I wanted to achieve was a 100 mil skill. Honestly, I want to get a 200 mil skill, but God... That would take a long time. Yes, yes, yes. Another Revenant's task, 111. So I just figured out the extended task can go from 100 to 150. So this is on the low end, but that's fine because when you combine it with the Bracelets of Slaughter, it's pretty close to 150 anyways. So here we go. I think this is going to be the task we finally get a Rev weapon. I don't know why. I'm just feeling extremely confident right now. Oh, wait. Oh, no way. We actually just got an Ancient Effigy, 8 million gold. Okay. All right, new collection log slot and 8 mil. Oh, I'm so happy. I knew I had a good feeling about this task. Uh, I don't even think these are affected by the drop rate increase that you get from being on task. So this was just pure RNG, baby. Uh, yep, everyone's pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Thank you for all the grats. Oh, finally a collection log slot from Revs. I I'm pretty sure it has actually been like over a year since I got a log slot here. And is that it? No, the bracelet of slaughter actually procced. I've been using it. It has not procced for the last 15 kills. And on the last kill of the task, of course, it decides to proc. So, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna have to wait a minute. Here we go. Final kill of the Rev task. Are we lucky? No. We are not. I think at this point we might be just a little bit dry at revs uh, since the update. I mean, if you count all my old kill count, obviously I'm extremely dry. But we're not going to count that because we let bygones be bygones. So that is 416 revs just in this video. And I think in the last one I killed 250 or something like that before I reset the loot tracker. So only a little bit dry. If we do our next rev task, certainly that'll be the one with the weapon. And mixing it up, of course, we go for our 50th task at Konar for a beautiful 3 100 slayer points that's so good i've been tempted to do every 10 tasks at konar because you do get 100 but without any block list it's so likely to get hydras drakes worms that i feel like i'm going to end up skipping so many tasks i'm really not sure it's worth it for just 100 i had to skip a task or two just for this one game wants me to go back to rto i think we've done more kills in rto in this video than anything else so uh you know this was supposed to be a revs video but an rto video now oh wait wait blink and you might have missed it that's a dragon two-handed sword the coolest drop of all time i didn't even get to see it we'll have to open the looting bag to check it off oh, it looks so cute 400 kill count at rto it's been pretty chill here i got attacked once or twice and then a third dude who was just ragging like i literally just attacked him back with the web weaver bow and he teleported like like a peak hair teleported from me because of the web weaver bow so how many of you knew that I was an idiot. Yeah, this is actually me coming out as an idiot, an absolute moron, in fact, because I just got smited for my Purple Slayer helmet. I was barely paying attention at Spindle, 
and I didn't realize my prayer was low, so I got smited and lost my uh, Slayer helmet, which is sad for so many reasons. First off, it's the last imbued Slayer helmet that I have, so I actually have to go to Nightmare Zone, and I don't want to do Nightmare Zone to get a re-imbued Slayer helmet. Also, it's my purple Slayer helmet, dude. You get the you use the Dark Claw to get that. I don't have any more Dark Claws. I don't know if you knew this, but it took me... Let's go to my Scotizo log. Uh, it took me over 100 kills to get my first Dark Claw, and I don't have any other ones, so... Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm a broken shell of a man. Okay, you know what? That's it. I am getting my Dark Claw back so I can have a Purple Slayer helmet again. We have 28 totems ready to go for Scotizo. And because it took us over 100 kills for our first Dark Claw, we're pretty much guaranteed to get another one very, very quickly, right? That's how it works. Plus Jar of Darkness on the Dark Totem. We're going to just finish the Scotizo collection log and get our Purple Slayer helmet back. This is the Redemption arc. Okay, well, this kill was so scuffed, I forgot to bring Prayer, and I was trying to do a Chinchampa's combat achievement, but I don't know how to do it. Anyways, first kill back, we get... Uh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh! Wow, we got the uh, Scotizo pet. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that's also our second one in 119 kills. Uh, okay, I mean, that's not really what I was going for, but I'll take it. Also worth mentioning is since I finished the Elite Combat Diary, I do have a 1 in 4 chance of getting an Elite uh, Clue Scroll from here. Instead of 1 in 5, everybody's freaking out about the stupidest duplicate pet in the game, but thank you all. Dude, I am incapable of not forgetting something. I forgot the arc light, so I just, you know, just didn't work out. What do we get this kill? No Elite Clue. Okay, I figured out the spot that you want to stand in to get Scotizo with the chins. Come on, please tell me he dies here. Please, there we go. Precise positioning complete. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that task, and it's a master one. And what do we get for doing such a difficult achievement? We get rune plate bodies. Skibbity bop. Boom, bottom. Oh, dude, it's been so long since we've even gotten an elite clue. We're at 12 Scotizo, and we've only gotten one when we should have three. Which, you know, normally it's not that big of a deal going a little bit dry on stuff. But this one hurts. The elite clues, elites suck to get. And this is supposed to be the one place you actually get them and feel kind of good about it, but... I don't feel very good. But doodle. Hey, finally, it actually worked. Okay, we got an elite clue scroll. It's been a long time since we've gotten one of those. Thank goodness. I feel like the elite diary is actually just destroying me over here. I was so excited to get a ton of elite clues, and we're already down to 11 totems, and we've only gotten two of these bad boys. So hopefully our luck turns around and we start getting these like every single kill. This is not the Jar of Darkness. I swear I'm selling my whole bank and real world trading it. Okay, Elite Clue! Uh, cut that part out of the video. That was, uh, that's against the game rules. Hey, another Elite Clue scroll. That's what I like to see, finally. My goodness. How many Scotiza kills have we done so far? 26, and we've gotten four Elite Clues when we should have had six. I mean, that's not too far behind, I suppose. My goodness, wait, another Elite Clue. Yes, back to back. Finally, it's all evening out. Sorry if there's a little... I'm eating pizza right now. Okay, here we go. Last Scotizo totem. Please something. This is like... This is ridiculous that I still haven't seen another claw. And no, of course not. Nothing. What is that? 28 Scotizo kills. And we are at 146 kill count with only one dark claw. That is so depressing. It looks like we're not getting our purple Slayer helmet back anytime soon. But we did stack up a nice amount of clues. And I'll say that that's, that's at least a good little side benefit of Scotizo. Well, since the Scotizo adventures didn't pay off, we'll just head back to finish this spider's task. You don't really need a Slayer helmet for this, since the Black Mask works just fine as long as you're meleeing. We really need to get that imbued Slayer helmet back soon, though, because I use Crossbow for revs and RTO. And I use range for a ton of things on Slayer task, obviously. Range is kind of OP. Please tell me that's... I've been here for one kill, dude. Oh, I, I literally didn't even notice I got a drop for, like, five seconds. We just got a treasonous ring which doesn't even show up in the clan broadcast because, you know, I've gotten a treasonous ring before. And it's worth 100k. I don't think it was worth much more before the Weldy Boss update came out, so I'm not, like, blaming the low price on it. But, man, that's crazy. 100k. It is a pretty useless item, to be fair. Oh, man. This is great because it's more RTO, but this is horrible because I don't have a Slayer helmet that can give bonuses to range. So I guess it's Nightmare Zone time. Ah, I really hate Nightmare Zone. Wait a minute, I just checked my Nightmare Zone chest. Let me see, were my eyes deceiving me? It seemed like I had over a million points in there. Yes, I do. You only need 625. Oh, I can imbue two Slayer helmets, actually. Oh, thank you, Past Shelby. I don't know why you have Nightmare Zone points, but I appreciate you. We have another imbued Slayer helm. 
And now we can go kill Artio. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I need to take a break from doing wildy bosses. I keep getting ragged, like, insanely frequently. I can't do, like, a 10 kill trip without getting ragged. I attack back. I started bringing a uh, AGS, and, you know, I've got my freezes. So I start actually fighting back. 99% of the time, the PKer teleports out from somebody with a crossbow, basically. So I'm just not doing it anymore. Taking a break. We'll do it not on the weekends. It is Sunday, to be fair. So we have 14 elite caskets that we managed to stack during our Wildy Boss adventures this video. We have 360 in total opened, 33 out of 59 in the elite clue log. Can we get anything new? Let's find out. First one, nothing. Second one, nothing. Wow, we got mahogany antique planks back to back. I guess that'd be good if I was an Iron Man. Come on. Ooh, a Mimic. I haven't had one of these in a long time. That's actually really exciting. Oh, wow. I just got a new personal best. 17 second Mimic fight with the Shadow. This thing absolutely destroys it. I think I hit like a 64 or something. Maybe it was a 74. I don't know. It was a massive hit. This thing's nasty. And because of that, we're getting... Do you taste that? Third Age Van Braces? Uh, no, but we did get a Monocle, which is a unique item. It's just not unique for me, unfortunately. But luckily, we have 10 more to go, and we could get anything, like a Shazian Scarf. Back-to-back -back uniques, they were not new, but we also got a Master Clutch. I just want to check real quick, because I'm pretty sure I'm still missing a Scarf. Yeah, the Lovacane Scarf. Okay, so we still have a lot of easy uniques. You know, not all hope is lost. Oh, the Master Clue was so good. There was only one triple step, which is, I mean, what else could I ask for in life? And, I mean, I guess I could ask for an Elite Clue Unique. Oh, boy, a big pirate hat. That's another dupe, unfortunately. Man, we're getting a lot of Uniques recently from Elites. I mean, this opening's not been great for, like, new Uniques, but, I mean, a lot of Uniques in general. Four to go. Come on, something. You're not going to make me open this many Elite Caskets with nothing, are you? Well, we got a third Master Clue. That's good. It's not a triple step. Oh. Also, take my word for it, if you make an account and you find out your Vagora is deep in the wilderness, j just start the whole account over, trust me. It's worth it. And there's the third Master Clue done. I've been getting some people asking me to do another massive Master Clue stack, and I think that sounds really fun to stack 100 Masters. I think I did 50 last time, and that was an absolute blast to open. But I think I'm going to wait till after we do the 1,000 Hard Caskets, because opening these is going to get me, I don't remember the exact math, but it's going to be like 70 Master Caskets or something. And that's pretty much going to be a 100 stack, so I think we'll open this, open the Masters we get from it, and then after that we'll save our Masters for a long time. Anyways, we have three Master Clues to go, obviously, and we are at 387, 27 out of 49. I think we're going to get the Bloodhound right now, honestly. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just get the Bloodhound, never mind. But we did make, what is this going to be, like... 1.3 mil it is okay another interesting thing that passed the poll somewhat recently and got added into the game is Laren's keys are now tradable on the grand exchange i don't know why it says they're going for 17,000 gold these things average like over 100k loot i'm pretty sure i don't know if someone's just madman scamming in the ge but i'm gonna have to check ge tracker that's sketchy yeah okay there we go they sell for over 200,000 gold each let's see exactly how much they sold for 202k each so a far cry from back in the day when i bought them for half a mil each before you could actually sell them i would have to kill people in the wilderness they'd have to trust me and uh then i would buy them from them obviously i never scammed anybody that you know of so i just sold all the loot that we had in our bank well all the loot that i can find because honestly you guys have seen my bank it's an it's an absolute disaster oh wait no wait there's bracelets of ethereum we can sell those too not all of them though okay i said not all of them Jeez. anyways the reason i sold all of this is because i would really like to get my missouri top back which costs oh only only 120 mil really oh god these things are ridiculously cheap uh, that'll buy eventually i'm sure but yeah finally we have the masori top i sold it to buy the inquisitor set so we can continue grinding fosanis and now that we'll have this back it's gonna feel good i'll feel complete again thank you once again to ever legion for sponsoring the video make sure to download the game by clicking the link in the description and if you're fast enough you can use my redeem code to get some great rewards there's only about 100 of them so make sure to act quick and so i think that's where i'm gonna end this one off thank you all so much for watching and for supporting the channel i really really do appreciate it when you press all those funny buttons that youtube loves i don't know why there's so many buttons that youtube loves they got like the like the subscribe the bell the snarky comment i mean i don't know what they're gonna introduce next but I'm very excited to see it. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time where hopefully we will get a 30th pet to add to this little collection. I really want to get to 30 pets soon because it just looks so gross. 29 out of 52, it's going to look so clean at 30.